Okay, so today we are going to cover something that actually came out last year, but I feel like it's important to cover it so we can talk about the future of VR, particularly the MetaQuest 3, as well as, frankly, I don't think a lot of people know that this is a thing. So I figured I'd cover it. So right here, it says how the MetaQuest 3 is a standalone headset, but they basically, I'm going to go ahead and spoil the lead for you guys. You can use the MetaQuest 3 to connect HDMI to uh, HDMI, it's a display port and USB-C device to the MetaQuest 3. So, yeah, that, that actually seems pretty cool. Let's actually go into more detail about it. Let's look at it so we don't get it wrong at all, okay? Let's see, they are talking about the link cable that they launched back in 2019. Wait, the link cable was launched all the way back in 2019? Man, that means VI is, the MetaQuest is six years old now? Not necessarily the three being six years old. I believe the two might be six years old, or oh, maybe the three years, six years old. Let me know how long you've had your MetaQuest 3 in the comment section below. 3, 3S, or even 2. If you're still rocking the 2, I'd love to know if you guys are still rocking the 2 as well. Let's see. It says that the HDMI Connect link is the most featured, the most at requested feature. I'm not sure if that's true or not. It's very hard. I can say from a developer point of view, it seems like it's pretty hard to gather what people actually want based on what they say on the internet. You kind of have to interpret what they want type thing. So, I can imagine HDMI and MetaQuest 3 were said a lot together. But, anyway, let's go with what it says. It said, today we are excited to announce the release of MetaQuest HDMI Link for MetaQuest 2, 3, and Pro. Now, I I think the Pro has been discontinued at this time. Don't quote me on that. The Pro could still be alive and kicking somewhere. I don't know. The 2 still exists, but I don't know it. I don't think there's much support for the 2. Most of the updates I see focus on the MetaQuest 3 and the MetaQuest 3S. So... That's what this video is even focusing on, the MetaQuest 3 and the 3S by extension. So yeah, this MetaQuest HDMI link, it's actually a free app in the App Store that you can actually get. It says our goal is to once again enable you to connect your headset to a whole new category a whole new category of devices okay let's see so from this picture what we're gathering here is that you oh wait are they connecting the phone to the MetaQuest, okay, so this is definitely a window. This is a window as well, so. Okay, and so they, it looks like from this picture, they are connecting their phone to there, and then they are also playing a game. That actually seems pretty cool, not gonna lie. I don't know if it's exactly what 
people wanted that requested this, but it does seem pretty cool, honestly. I'm not going to lie. It does seem pretty cool. I'll be honest, I do technically prefer a quote-unquote wireless experience, but with that said, I wouldn't be opposed to something like this. Hear me out, okay? Say I have my iPad, right? Because it said the USB type C as well. Yeah. And see the iPad the uses the USB type C. So let's say I have the converter cable or whatever, right? And then I hook it up to my iPad. I can technically hook my iPad up to my MediQuest 3 in theory. According to this image right here, I should be able to hook my iPad up to my MediQuest 3 and then play the iPad game in the MediQuest first. Honestly? 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 Okay, if this is the case, I am kind of excited for it. Let's actually see what they have to say about it, okay? Okay, let's continue with HDMI link. You can then display, okay, HDMI link lets you connect because we're starting from the top. Your MediQuest headset to devices with an HDMI or display port out, including handheld PCs, console, laptops, and more. Let's see. With the HDMI link, you can then display the 2D content in VR on a massive low latency screen. It's in quotation because it's VR. Similar to theater view with the release of V67 on the MediQuest 3. Let's see, roommate using the TV? Staying in a hotel and want to play games on a big screen? No problem. With HDMI link, your favorite games are there in your headset. HDMI link outputs games at 1080p with near zero latency on a screen that you can resize and reposition as needed. Like we said, it also works with laptops and phones. Um, trapped on a flight and want to watch a movie? or maybe get some work done without anyone looking over your shoulder. Most content should display seam seamlessly through HDMI link, whether you want to play or be productive. Note certain apps, especially streaming apps, utilize built-in copy protection software that may interfere with HDMI link. I'm assuming stuff like Netflix and whatnot. So, okay. And now let's go to the setup. It says, well, first it said, now some caveat. HDMI link does require additional third-party hardware, specifically a UVC and UAC compatible capture card and any associated cable. The USB 3 recommended, see below. Basically, plug and play, but not quite as easy as setting up AirLink. For instance, so we're releasing HDMI link on App Lab for now. First step, Install MediQuest HDMI link on your headset. Second step, connect your source device to your capture card using a simple HDMI cable, a USB-C to HDMI or lightning to HDMI, depending on your device's output. Run 
USB Type C power to your capture card if available to keep your headset charged during use. Connect your headset to the capture card using a USB A female to USB Type C male cable. Turn on the headset, grant the necessary permissions, and enjoy. Okay, I get to read this more options for everyone. We're very excited to get HDMI link into the community's hands and hear how people are using it. Be it for gaming, on the go, work, entertainment, or something we haven't even predicted. We've long envisioned VR as a general computing com let's see, computing platform that means ensuring quest works communication seamlessly with other devices. Okay. Okay, well that that seems interesting, okay? I'll be honest, the installation process, the whole thing, it seems kind of complicated, but I'm pretty sure it's not as complicated as I think. But with that said, I'm going to end it up here. Let me know what you guys think, guys. Is this something you guys knew about but never really looked into are you guys excited about it do you guys think they missed the mark and people were asking for another feature and they gave it this by mistake that this make you want to buy a MetaQuest 3 or are you like eh not really for me just let me know your thoughts comment section below and with that said, I will catch you guys in the future. Later.